What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back into JDL headquarters. Snap Wireless has made a return back into JDL headquarters with these new wireless charging packs, man. Let's get into this. Let's do it. Okay, Mr. Meat is all excited because it's time to open up some hashtag new stuff. Hey, hashtag new stuff in the comment section if you're ready. All right, let's get into this cellophane, man. Mr. Meat, be nice to the package. God, dog, you get so overzealous. And since we got Mr. Meat out, let's get him to open this one too. Be nice, bro, be nice. All right, let's put him over there. All right, let's finish getting this off here. Okay, I gotta clean up my mess real quick. Throw that down there. All right, we got the black version and the white version. So which one are we gonna open up first? I don't know, any, mini, miny, mo. I don't, I really don't care. <laughs> Let's just get them open and see what is going on inside here. Now, I do still enjoy all the Snap Wireless products that I have. I've got a charger right here. Don't believe it? Listen. See, told you. All right, so got my Snap Wireless charger right there at my desktop. I have one on my nightstand. My wife has one on her nightstand. My son has one in his nightstand. So we definitely enjoy Snap Wireless products around this house uh, because they do fast wireless charging and they just look good while they're sitting on your desk. I saw that they, they came out with these new uh, charging packs here. Let me just get both of them unboxed because they are the exact same outside of the color scheme. So let's see here. Got a little cookies and cream action going. Let's just use one charging cable uh, to do both of our tests because we just got to test it out. Let's do a quick walkthrough. So basically we got this matte black and matte white finish, which I am loving right now. It's got this cookies and cream kind of look going on right here. Then we got this uh, shiny material right here. And from the package, I can see that that's where the that LED display is gonna be. Got a little company branding, flip it over. Oh yeah, this is where you have, let me see how you get this out of here. So let me just kind of dig my nail in there. So this is a micro USB uh, charge right here. So it automatically comes with that. Um, you know what, man? I mean, there's still a lot of micro USB stuff around and it's nice to have it attached to here, but man, this would have been perfect with a USB-C. What is this? Okay, we, well, they do provide a USB-C cord, but man, this would have been perfect with USB-C already attached. A few moments later. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I've had a serious new moment. I take back everything I said. Let's just rewind. Okay. So check this out. I had to take it to the instructions and like thoroughly read. If you're watching this review, you'll have no problem. But if you just try to do this on your own, you might be looking like an idiot, just like I was just a second ago. Check this out, man. So this is not the charging port. This is actually a surprise right here. I'll tell you about that in a second. So right here we have the onboard micro USB uh, plug. This is onboard, it's with you all the time. And if you have a micro USB charging port, that's what you plug into. You could charge another phone or use your own cable. Uh, right here, they supplied you with the micro USB to regular USB cable, and you can just charge your phone just like that. I'll show you how that works right now. You just plug it in, simple as that. It's not fast charging, but that's okay. Now, we're done with that cable. We are seriously done with this cable because if you have an iPhone, you can charge via this lightning cable that comes on board. It's already attached. These three ports right here are for charging this device only. So right here, I have my power. This is already powered up. This is a micro USB and I'm gonna plug it into the micro USB side and it starts charging. It blinks and it says input right there and it's blinking and it's charging. Now, sorry, all my USB-C cables are kinda, you know, in my setup, so I don't wanna take them out, but that's where you would charge USB-C or you could charge with your lightning cable. So no matter what phone you got, you can still use your phone's charger to charge this thing up because it has all three methods right here. So let's just go ahead and put that down because we don't need it anymore and let's close this up because we don't need that anymore. Now the next method of charging is wireless charging. All you gotta do is make sure the device is on, click the power button once, then put your device on top of there and just let it sit and it will start, there it is right there. So it's charging wirelessly. Okay, so now we know we can charge that way, but Remember when I said I wish this was uh, USB-C and it would have been perfect if it was? They actually thought about that. So this port right here, that is not a port. <laughs> I thought it was a port. So that is a micro USB to USB-C adapter. Man, that is freaking genius now. Wireless, oh my God, that is freaking genius. So that is in there. So let me just pull that off real quick. So that's in that, in that hole. So. <laughs> So don't forget about that. If your phone uses USB-C, that is so freaking cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure this part works. Let's just go ahead and plug it back up. 
and we'll just kind of connect it just like that. And we're already charging. It's yeah, charging 39% an hour and a half till fully charged. Sweet, man. Oh man, that is so freaking cool. And then when you're done, what you have to do is you really do need to separate this because if you just try to put it in the way you got it out, it's just not gonna work because it's, it's stuck on there so good. So just separate it just like that and then put it back in its home where it's supposed to be and then close this up and you are good to go. The white one does the exact same thing. I'm not gonna run through that. This has already been a long video for a charger. <laughs> but wow, I'm impressed. Oh yeah, by the way, in order to get the display to go off, all you gotta do is double tap the power button and it goes off. Wow, okay, so let me use the white one for this last thing. So right here, let me just recap. We have an onboard micro USB. Then we have a cord that comes with it that is USB-C. And then on this side, we have a USB or a micro USB to USB-C adapter. On this side, we have the input to charge this bad boy, which is USB-C, uh, lightning cable and micro USB. And then you have last but not least, the lightning cable for you iPhone folks. And wait a minute, it's not last but not least because last but not least is <laughs> wireless charging. Man, that is freaking genius. Yep, there it goes right there. <laughs> ah, snap, you did it again, man. Look, if you don't have one of these, I suggest you get one. Father's Day is coming up. I don't know, get it for your birthday or just get it because you need it. You got to have one of these things, man. This is the most complete and versatile uh, charging pack I've ever seen in my life, dude. Anyways, man, I am no expert on this kind of stuff, but I'm seriously impressed with this charger. I've, I've looked at wireless portable chargers before and they do have the ports to help you charge with wires and stuff like that. And of course they have the wireless, uh, the Qi wireless on there as well but they are not as complete as this. Like this takes care of every power need you have. Oh, by the way, with 10,000 milliamps. So that's at least two charges on pretty much any phone. I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but I'm digging this thing and you probably should just get you one, man, cause it's just that good. So wow, stop.